you get example seven in our number theory topic. We're looking at number bases and converting uh, to and from base 10. In example six, we had a look at converting into base 10. In this example, we're going to convert from base 10 to other number bases. So in this example here, it says write 192 to the base 10 in base 6. Now, there's various ways to do this. One of the ways you could do it is you could just set up a table um, with our powers of 6 in it. Where, so these are our place values for base 6. And then try and think, okay, how many times could we fill out the largest place value? 192 doesn't fit 216 at all. So you would end up with how many 36s in uh, 192 is it five of them as 180 remainder 12 uh, how many times does that fit into six we could get two lots of six and 12 and then with no remainder and so we could work out that process by saying it would be five two zero in base six however rather than trying to kind of shoehorn them into the different place values we can actually use the euclidean algorithm or the, this process using the division algorithm in this way we take 192 and we're going to divide it by 6. But it's slightly different way. So we, 6 dividing into 192 is actually uh, 32 and no remainder. Now, with the Euclidean algorithm, that would be the end. The collection would go, oh, no remainder, we stop. But we're not doing that this time. We persevere and we're going to keep going because we're not trying to find the greatest common divisor. And even more interesting, we don't shove everything over to the left. What does shove over is our quotient becomes the new uh, dividend, but we keep six as our divisor. And we keep going down. Six divides into 32 uh, five times. Uh, remainder two. And then what we do is we keep going this time until Effectively, there's no quotient instead of a no remainder. So it's slightly different, but we're still looking for a zero. But this time, it's going to be the quotient. So we've moved five over to here. We're still dividing by six. Uh, and lo and behold, you can't divide at six into five. So that's zero times uh, remainder five. That's the point of where we stop this time when we've got a zero quotient rather than a zero remainder. And the beautiful thing about it, if you haven't already noticed, that 192 to the base 10 is equal to five, two, zero. We actually take our remainders in reverse order with the last remainder as the highest place value as our answer. So 192 to the base 10 can be written as five, two, zero to the base six. I like it, it's elegant uh, and it's very good, okay? So remember you stop when the remainder is zero. Okay, check out example 8 next.